Hi everyone and welcome to my uh, new studio. I switched rooms around in my place just to get a much bigger space for painting and uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, it's the weekend here. It is snowing so much again. I'm so annoyed because everything is all the roads and the yard and everything is just completely blocked up. But saying that, <laughs> that gives me the chance to paint because the Doggo, who's down there investigating right now, he told me that he's not going anywhere. He spent the morning uh, on the sofa, on the couch, uh, buried into a blanket. So <laughs> perfect time for me to paint. Anyway, um, I've prepped this canvas. I've put some um, uh, texture paste on here. Uh, I've let it dry for ages and ages. I've level leveled the canvas with my... Um, uh, screw on uh, loops and I've painted the sides brown. We're going to do another tree swipe but with a different orientation this time. Um, again this is a 40 by 80 centimeter gallery wrapped 100% cotton canvas and um, yeah what I'll do is I'll show you the, um, uh, the texture paste part just a quick um, uh, time lapse and then I'll bring you in closer to have a look at the painting. go i think that looks so cool love it yeah that's gonna look really really cool with the uh, pour which i can't wait for this to dry now so i can get to it okay i've got all my uh, paints and my tools ready actually i thought to do the um the ground bit here with a hair dryer so i have my hair dryer ready there i've got the uh, swiping tools i've got all the paints Again, I'm going with a very, very similar color scheme to the one I uh, did first. So the very first uh, tree swipe I did. But uh, definitely not going to be using the cloud mix because that caused a lot of uh, cracking. Um, so my base is an Amsterdam Carmine and Oxide Black mix, which you'll probably recognize from my previous videos, makes a really nice sort of chocolatey chocolatey color so that's our base then um, I'll work on the ground first and I have some from my uh, latest or one of my last um, flick and spins I've got this uh, deco art uh, rose gold mixed with Amsterdam copper which has been sitting for a while so clearly clearly needs uh, a little mix these are really quite thick, so this could be interesting with a hairdryer. I'm fully prepared to go in um, uh, on high setting to get the get the paints moving there. Then uh, I'll also add this one, which is um, uh, Deco Art Antique Bronze and Amsterdam Carmine and Oxide Black mix, which is the uh, chocolate chocolatey color mix that I have for the base. So that's for the ground. And then for the swipes, instead of using a white to for my first uh, round of swiping like I have been doing, I have some Amsterdam Pearl White just mixed with uh, Overtroll, the uh, European Flow Troll. So that'll be on there. Uh, what I'll do is I'll switch the canvas around when I start swiping just to get the, um, get the edge covered there as well. Okay, and then finally the swipe colors going up. I have um, a maroon that I've mixed with uh, Amsterdam uh, Perot Red and Ultramarine and a little bit of uh, Winsor & Newton Gold. That's almost finished. I need to mix some more uh, Winsor & Newton Gold just straight there with um, Overtroll again. And then this brown colour, which is, um, you know, in between the ones I'm using down here. Uh, this is what I'll be swiping the tree with. Um, this is Amsterdam Nathal Red uh, Medium, 
oxide black and Windsor Newton gold. So pretty much a lot of the same paints, but used in uh, slightly different ways. Okay, there we go. What I'll do, I'm going to start working on this now, I believe, because this is uh, a multi-technique <laughs> adventure. Um, I will need to uh, concentrate. So what I'll do is I'm going to go quiet now. I'll put some music on for you. More than likely, I will um, speed up the video so we're not here all day because this is one of those techniques that takes a surprisingly long time to do. So yeah, enjoy the music and uh, I'll speak to you once I'm done here.
I'm done with this. I am um, again <laughs> resisting temptation to keep going and you know very very likely overworking it and ruining it. I love this result. So let me just clean up and I'll uh, I'll bring you in to have a look. Here is my wet result. I think it worked out so cool. I love the ground here. Those cells are incredible considering how thick the paint was. So blowing the um, uh, the metallic mixes with the um, blow dryer set on high really seemed to do the trick there. This is so cool. I love these more simplistic trees that I did here. Yeah, those are very, very nice in my opinion. And there's one little one there in the distance. And then finally, the second largest one. And then the main sort of tree on the side. So fingers and eyes and everything crossed that this dries well. And I'll be uh, back with the uh, dried results. And here's the dried results. I've taken this bit of video in the little bit of natural light that we get in Finland in the, in the winter. No flash, um, but I will show you the uh, shimmer with the flash in a minute. But I love this dry perfect, absolutely perfect. I love the ground portion there. Those really, uh, the cells really happened so well with the hairdryer, even though the paints are, or were, very, very thick. This dried super fast, probably because of the uh, swiping. There wasn't that much uh, paint left on the canvas. And the only thing that bothers me about this technique is the sides. They look rubbish. <laughs> they always look awful. So I'm just going to go over and uh, paint those with the, uh, with the brown colour. So there we go. But let me just show you the uh, colours under, under flash. Now then, let's see if we can... Uh, show you the gold look at that that winter newton gold is just delicious when it dries it is absolutely gorgeous now i think i'm going to rest in this because uh the peaks here in the ground part with the uh, texture they are fairly high so i don't think i'm going to lose that effect when i uh when i give this a nice coat of resin so yeah, there you go. I am super happy with this. Definitely my best, uh, my best yet when it comes to these uh, landscape uh, paintings. But I'd love to hear what you think. So please leave me a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I would be really, really honoured if you'd uh, have a look at my Patreon page and consider becoming a member. 
So anyway, but most of all, thanks so much for being with me here today. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.